Yeah, good day, mate. This is a Sudanese bloke who's still learning how to speak an Aussie, you know, but um, I can't actually get it into the Aussie accent because I still, I'm still confusing between the two. Aussie and American accent. I don't know what to do, but anyway, accept whatever you got and throw the rest away. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, I want to tell you something new. Man, something wrong really happened to me. Two, three days ago, man, I was searching for a place to rent. I was really fucking desperate to get a place very soon because I was sleeping on the road, you know? Shit, I was sleeping in the car, crushing. Do you believe that, man? Things happen. Shit happens sometimes. We're going to have to accept it the way it is. So, well, I searched for a place. I went to so many real estate to apply. Get the, um, actually, um, uh, the advertisement for the renting houses and all this shit and stuff. And I was actually searching for a place. This is very cheap. Something I can actually afford to rent. Because I can get, I can get something with $250 or maybe $300 per week. I'll be fucking crazy because I ain't gonna save any money. So, decided to look for, um, actually, um, what do you call this thing? A granny flat. Okay, a granny flat was fucking hard to get a granny flat. I search all over around Australia and I'm like thinking every day what to do and I ain't gonna get nothing. The last thing I did is I got a place. I got a place through this real estate girl. She was fucking beautiful, man. Damn, she got the body, she got the look and she got everything. Something you can't even, you know, control. And the girl just rang me up and she said to me, we're going to have to go and inspect the house. Man, temptation happens. I'm telling you, if you don't care about yourself, you're going to fall in trouble one day. The girl coming to the house, she took me to this granny flat to show me around. And we went into the granny flat. Granny flat was awesome, man. Newly painted, fucking floor timber. Beautiful, you know. Windows were with... Um, with the curtain on and shit, was fucking awesome. My place was beautiful. Big room, a big seating room and a shower room and a little kitchen and stuff like that. And I was so happy with it. But the girl was showing me around. And I always look at that ass. That ass man was fucking awesome. She was sexy in the accent that you can't even control yourself. She was showing me the room. She told me, Hi, how was the room? Hey, you like it? I'm like, yeah, I like the room. You know, it was really nice and shit. Yeah, and then we went to the sitting room outside. And she was like, oh, about the sitting room? Is it cool? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's nice. And the kitchen, oh, what about the kitchen? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, okay. And then we went to the shower room. Yeah, yeah, fucking good. And shit like that. Man, she was showing me around the house and she was just walking and giving me that beautiful face just staring at me and I'm like, fuck man, that girl is hot. And we spent more than 15 minutes, 15 minutes, brother, I'm telling you this, 15 minutes in the house showing me around. It never happens in the entire life that a woman, a girl, she's in a, okay, I my guess she would be in about 24, 26 25 years, she's awesome, man. Sexy and little one, that's something you can't even think about. Like the one I told you in the parties, yeah, fucking awesome, bro. The girl I spent about 15 minutes with me in the house trying to show me around. She showed me the room more than four times, and she discussed with me the room more than four times, asking me the same shit question. We sitting room, the same shit questions. The kitchen, the same shit question. And I always answer, yeah, it's fucking good, it's awesome, it's nice. The last thing I was doing, behind all this question, I was thinking about that ass and how she looks beautiful and sexy. And I'm like, man, has this girl want me to have sex with her? In that room, with no bed, with no mattress and all this shit, how are we gonna do it? A doggy style? Shit. I'm thinking about what the fuck is going to happen. After this, I was waiting for her to just get out and get, let's just leave because we already inspect the house and I looked at it and I liked the way it looks and everything. I didn't even fucking complain about it. The only thing I need is I want to get out of there because I don't want to fall in temptation with that lady. And I was just back thinking of phoners, phoners movies whereby sometimes, you know, you get a, 
a view of a, a young bloke having sex with a student, uh, a student girl, so, you know, a bloke having a sex with a girl from, from the cops, you know, wearing uniform. Sometime also happen that a guy will have a sex with a lady from the real estate. And I was thinking about myself that I might gonna be the same as what happened in the porno movies. And I'm like, man, I don't wanna be a porno movie because these kind of things, I, 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 ain't, I ain't a person that's gonna really be suitable to do this kind of things like that. The only thing I was thinking about is to get out of that room. And Jesus, man, we got out after 15 minutes. And my heart was start beating, I was nervous, my hands was sweaty, and I was fucked up, man. You know what happened later on? After we finish, we've left the place, and later on, she rings me up again, telling me that my application was approved. And I was like, oh, man, thank God. Because God really looked after me, and I'm very proud and happy to hear that. Then, I went back to the agent, Dot did all the process for the application to be approved, paid the money, everything, so I was asking for the key. Hand me in the key and let me sign all your papers and get a fuck out of here. And she was there, and I was just staring at her. Jeez, brother, I'm telling you what, she was beautiful. You know, I don't know how to imagine how beautiful she was, but I can tell you this, she looked like a movie star. You know what I'm saying? She looked like a movie star, I swear to God. I was just staring at the girl, because I have ever seen a beautiful girl, very innocent and sexy, like this before in my entire life. And I was even asking myself, what the fuck is she doing in the real estate from the first place, nigga? Jesus, man. Anyway, what happened is, we've done everything and we had all the signatures fucking painted on the paper and we had everything and I'm like, hey, I want to receive my key so I can get to the fucking, you know what, the granite flat. But they told me, man, we can't give you the key now because we're going to have to go and fix some things in that granite flat before you're fucking moving to it. And I'm like, what? Damn. This is gonna take so long. And I was like, hey, I want to move on it soon. They say to me, okay, where do you, when do you want to move? I'm like, man, if, I can, if you give me the key now, I will get to sleep. I will go to sleep there tomorrow. Or maybe tonight, even, I can even crash on the floor. I don't give a damn. Only thing I need is the place. And you know what? Fuck, man. They told me that you're gonna have to come the second day to get the key. And do you understand me, man? I was running away from that girl. I don't want to see her face because she's not my type of woman. That kind of woman, if you actually have a relationship with that beautiful lady, that movie star, she's going to kill you because you're going to get freaky shit every night. And that is not going to work with me. I need something to get me down low. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, we've done I said, okay, I'll come back tomorrow to get the case. At what time? I'm like, four o'clock. Okay. I went there at four o'clock, and before I went there, she rings me up again in the mobile phone. And I picked up the phone while I was driving, which is, this is a fucking offense. If the Australian cops got you, they're going to fuck you up. But I didn't, man. Thank God for that. So... I picked the phone up and I had that beautiful voice again in the phone. Man, the girl is hot, everything. Yeah, I don't know, man. The voice is just, it's just, just something I can't even imagine. She's beautiful. She's really nice. Anyway, just forget about it. I don't tell anyone. Do not tell anybody. I, man, you know what happened? She fucking gave me the case, signing the papers that I received the key. And I left. Before I left, she said, hey, I gotta have to go with you again to inspect the house. Last and inspection. I was like, what, Jenny? You didn't finish everything yesterday? She was like, yeah, I finished everything, but I, this is the last thing. And I'm like, fuck, man. That temptation is going to happen again. Shit, we 